nasa na si Anton? Let's be honest, you don't really want to see me. You want to see computer parts. More specifically, you want to buy computer parts. Swak tong video na to then for you because this is a price analysis of CPU and GPU prices in the Philippines. We have current data and historical data and we put it all together to answer the question. Panahon na ba bumili? Pero bago nun, panahon na makinig sa ating sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Thank you for joining me for another episode of Price Watch where we take a look at CPU and GPU prices from the four largest PC retailers in the country and get the average price. So you can at least tell whether the part that you want to buy is at a good price. And even if we're not tracking the particular part you want, at least you can get a ballpark figure, a range where your part is in relation to other parts on the market. Obviously, my voice hasn't gotten better yet. If you've been listening to our podcasts, you know why my voice is like this. This is actually already pretty good. But please bear with me. We still have our data to get through. And you'll just have to enjoy this very different voice of mine, which I only usually use with very special people. What has been exciting actually is that there are a lot of price drops. And I know every Price Watch episode, palagi kong sinasabi, yes, may price drops, yes, may price drops. But we'll see in the data for this episode, and daming pumaba, both for GPUs and for CPUs. So starting with the first NVIDIA GPU that we track, the 1650, it's actually down by around 80 pesos. Ever since the start of the year, it's just been a slide downwards. When we started 2023, the average price of a 1650 was over 10,000 pesos. Now it's below 9,500. That's more than a 1,000 peso drop over five months. So roughly 200 peso drop every month. And you know, that piles up over time. Only a slight price drop this month for the 3050. Although it is looking good compared to what it was like at the end of March. Also only a slight price drop for the 3060. And actually for the 3060, we saw a price increase from slightly below 21,000 pesos. Now it's slightly above 21,000 pesos. The second data point for the 4070, we only started tracking it last month. The price has gone down though by about 1,000, which again, Kind of significant in its only second month of release. Price drop also for the 4080. Big price drop around 4,000 pesos. So around a 5% price drop. And also a roughly 5% price drop for the 4090. Because actually there was a rise last month. So this month is currently slightly lower than the historical price. Are these I mean, basically the best prices for the 4090 but we're currently seeing the 4090 as at its now it was lower on march 13 but it's around at that price now on the amd side of things price drop for the 6500 xt price increase actually for the 6700 xt it's been very difficult to find the 6700 xt from suppliers like new cards of the 6700 xt so i'm a little surprised it went up this much. Perhaps the guys who bought are capitalizing on some demand since 
other retailers can't fill that demand since it's impossible to buy new 6700 XTs anymore. But big price drop in the 7900 XTX, currently the top dog of AMD. From around 68, now it's around 65, so that's around a 5% price drop. On the CPU side of things, 7950X hasn't budged. Slight price increase actually in the 7600X. Slight price increase also of the 5600X. 5600G has gone lower, as well as the 3600. I think it's really a testament to the value of the 5000 series. Sobrang good value pa rin sila for money. That you can see that the 5600X is really just hanging out there. I mean, still a lot of demand for it. And the price hasn't really moved from the start of the year. The 5600G is a very capable CPU. Although that one has seen roughly around 1,000 peso drop since the start of the year. Intel side of things, slight decrease in the price of the 3900K. Actually an increase in the 13600K, slight increase. And a big increase actually in the 12500. So ano pa sinasabi ko na and daming price drops. If you look at the average price drops, yes, there are price drops, but there isn't a lot to be excited about. But if we go into the actual retailers, which we'll do now, so we'll shift tabs to go to weekly prices. So again, we don't give free advertising to the other shops. We give them code names. If you look, all of the code names are from science fiction, famous pilots from science fiction. If you look at Wash, all of the GPUs that we track have had price decreases. So we can compare. Our last data point was April 26, and now I just updated it May 22. If we scroll down, we can see blue means that there's been a positive price difference, meaning the price has gone down. So if you look at Wash, that thing 3015, yeah, 16500. Aeon, 500 peso drop. The 3060, big drop in the 3060 from around 20,000 pesos to around slightly less than 19 now. 4070, also a big drop. Noticeable decrease also in the 4080. And lastly, also a big drop in the 4090 from around 112,000 to 106,000. And that's the thing about Price Watch. The average price is good for a rough estimate. But if you really want to put in the time, you have to call each individual shop if price is the most important point for you. And you really have to look at the individual prices. Kasi even among the big retailers, paminsan ang layo ng price differences nila. And you know, we're in the PC retail business. I really don't know why there's such a big price variance, to be honest. Aside from Wash, actually, we've had price increases, especially with Wedge and Roy. Roy 1650, 3050, 3060 all went up. Very slight increase lang naman. 9576 versus 9490. The 3050 was around 16,100. Now it's around 16,200. The 3060 was around, well, this one seems like a bit of a significant price increase from around 20,000 to over 21,000. And then with Wedge, it's a mixed bag. Price increases for the 3050 and the 3060, but price drops for the 4070, 4080, and 4090. But even for the 4090, tinamo yung price ni Wedge. It's around 112,000 for their cheapest. That's always how we do it here at Price Watch. We find the cheapest GPU they have for that model. So the cheapest ni Wedge is around 112,000. Yung cheapest ni Wash is 106,000. And again, yun nga, sometimes it's very difficult to compare because each brand might have put their own spin on the card. Mas maganda yung quality ng memory, mas maganda yung quality ng cooling usually most importantly. But kung habol mo lang yung isang particular model at a particular price, then you can see that there's a big difference really for the prices of the different shops. Oh, I mislabeled this wrong. For Wash, there was also a big drop in the price of the 7900 XTX. It was almost 70,000 before, but now it's closer to 63,000. So let's make that blue. Wrong shade of blue, guys. Let me just format that properly. My voice is... Actually, my voice now is already pretty good compared to what it was like last week and this weekend. Uh, if you've been following the podcast and the live streams, you know how terrible my voice has been. So I'm on the road to recovery. Unfortunately, 
uh, the content we've been able to do has been kind of hamstrung or hindi kami maka produce ng content masyado because I'm not really fit to shoot long videos. But May is ending. Uh, we do price watch once a month. So I needed to break out the bedroom voice and do price watch like this. So overall, if you're looking for a GPU, I would try to figure out who Wash is and buy from them it for this particular point in time. Of course, you could also try Hardware Sugar. We have a special promo now for May where for CPUs, GPUs, and MOBOs, all of those prices are super low. Like, sobrang lapit na sa dealer price. To be honest, baka lugi na nga kami. If you factor in taxes, logistics, labor, and things like that, the prices of our CPUs, GPUs, and MOBOs now are super, super close compared to what we paid the dealer. We can't keep our business like that, so we're only having this promo up to the end of May. So you might want to check out our prices there on the Hardware Sugar website, hwsugar.ph. But if you're looking for this spreadsheet that I'm presenting to you guys right now, you can find the link to the sheet in the video description down below as well as in the pinned comments. This sheet is available 24-7 to the public. Anytime you want to do research about CPU and GPU prices sa atin, I'd suggest taking a look first at PriceWatch so you have a general idea on the state of prices of the market. Moving to CPUs, not a lot of price change. Although notably, again, Wash has very good deals for the 5600X, for the 5600G. Although for the 5600G, actually, the cheapest is Roy. Now, the problem with Roy is, if you know who they are, they usually have good prices, but their selection is not so good. But their prices are hard to beat. But significant price drops for washes, CPUs, across the board from AMD and Intel. So overall, these are not unexpected price drops because especially in the GPU market, NVIDIA's lower end 40 series cards are about to come out. So that's the 4060 Ti, the 4060, and that usually holds the price downward of the higher end GPUs. Also for the CPU side, at least for Intel, we're anticipating the 14th gen to come out by the end of this year. So usually they're trying to position the previous gen, that will be the 13th gen, again, lower price competitively to make room for the 14th gen. AMD, I'm not quite sure. We're not expecting the 8000 series to come out this year at that. Um, when did the 7000 series come out? Let me check. Yeah, see, there was no 7000 series. Towards end of October, there na. But yeah, wala pang one year since the 7000 series came out. Hasn't been selling that too well, actually, because the 5000 series is such good value for money. Plus, that's, there's that whole fiasco with the motherboards overclocking 7000 series cards too much, causing them to basically burn up. So, a bit of a rocky start with the 7000 series for AMD. Fortunately, the 5000 series is still very much available and that's still excellent value for money. So to wrap it up, would I buy now? Yes, if I was looking at a CPU and a GPU, I would pull the trigger, especially if I did my canvassing, especially if price is my only consideration and I did my canvassing and I, didn't and I identified which stores have the cheapest component. The prices we're seeing now are pretty good. If you are considering buying from us, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. I do anticipate several more videos with this voice. So hang in there, guys. And do check out our sale for May. The prices are really, really, really low. As low as my, as low as my post-COVID cough-induced voice. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.